is what it's called work ready. You Gemma, are you wrapped in a sleeping bag? Are you wrapped in a duvet? Well, I kind of am actually. This is my duvet dressing gown. I feel like it comes out in December. It's like my Christmas dressing gown because it is absolutely freezing. It's so frosty this morning. Like as soon as December hits, there was ice. There was snow actually. We didn't have too much snow here. We had like frost but it feels very festive. Um, and I just love it when everything looks all white and like glistening in the sun. Do you know what I mean? Like when the frost is all glistening. Um, so yeah, very much enjoying the frosty weather. Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a lovely start to December. I always feel a little bit, <laughs> a little bit sad when it gets to December. I don't know, but I just don't want this part of the year to be over. I just don't want it to end and when it gets to December it goes so incredibly quick like I feel like December is the quickest month of the whole year um so there's part of me that's so happy that Christmas is nearly here but there's also part of me that's like no Christmas please stay I am just about to get ready for the day we have got a really lovely day planned today um we're gonna have a nice cozy morning and afternoon at home um, we're going to do a little bit of festive baking and then later on this afternoon we're going to head over to our favourite place which is Jack's for a little bit of like early dinner and then this evening I have booked tickets for Luminate Light Show. We went last year and it was so good. If you live in Norfolk please this year go to the Sandringham luminate light show i think they actually have like luminate in lots of different places of the country but there's one at sandringham and it's honestly just so magical it's like an hour's walk through the woodland and there's loads of different like sections of like different themed lights and it's just so cute you guys may have seen the vlog from last year but they had this little bit where like it's like halfway through the walk where you can stop and roast marshmallows on a fire. It's so cute and I'm so looking forward to it, especially because Noah is Christmas light obsessed. He's obsessed with Christmas trees, obsessed with Christmas lights. So I just think he's gonna really, really love it this year. Last year he slept through the whole walk, um, but I think this year he will really enjoy it. So yeah, my loves, get cozy, get your favorite drink, get some snacks and I'm really looking forward to spending the day together. As always, because do I ever do anything different? I'm gonna do my super quick and easy 10 minute makeup using my go-to makeup products that live in my makeup bag. Um, so all of these bits that I'm gonna use are from Look Fantastic. I have a discount code which I'll pop on screen and I'll link absolutely everything down below. Look Fantastic is that place for me where I just get everything. I get kind of like all my bath and body bits, my hair care stuff, um, and also like all of my makeup top up. So it's a great place to just get everything. And then I usually use my own code <laughs> and save myself a bunch of money. So it's really good. Um, first things first, I've just popped on some of the Bobbi Brown face base. This is one of my top beauty products. It's so good. I am actually nearly out. It's lasted such a long time. And this is not only an amazing face cream for the base of makeup, I feel like your makeup just goes on so smooth. It's also a perfect moisturizer, like an everyday moisturizer. It's got a really fresh scent, so you just feel like, I feel like it brings my skin back to life and it also just makes it so glowy. Um, and it makes me feel and look alive brings back my like in the mornings when I'm sometimes feeling a bit grey I put this on and I, I feel like I 
I'm alive again. I'm gonna use one of my favorite foundations, which is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. This one's got a little bit more coverage um, than what I'd usually use. I usually use like a tinted moisturizer, um, a tinted serum, or I also love the NARS Radiant Foundation. That's a really nice one, but I feel like today, I just want a little bit more coverage. I've just done half of my face with the foundation. I've also turned off the big lights in the bathroom because I feel like they were giving me unnecessary shadows under my eyes and making me look about 10 years older and also very, very, very tired. So I've just done half of my face so you can see. I love this foundation because, like I said, I usually go for something that's a bit more glowy, a bit more natural. But because this one's got a little bit more coverage and because it's a matte foundation, number one, you have to use less powder so your makeup feels less cakey. And also, I feel like a matte foundation just gives you such a flawless base. Like it just makes your skin look airbrushed. Okay, next I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Concealer. This is in shade Nougatine. Nougatine, I hope I've said that right. I'm just gonna pop the tiniest little bit of this on just under the eyes to cover up the bags. Tiny little bit on my nose, a tiny little bit on my chin. The cream bronzer, the best cream bronzer I've ever used, is this one, it's NARS again. As you can tell, I'm loving a bit of NARS at the moment. And it's the Laguna 02, so the shade is 02. This is so nice. The shade, the just creaminess of it, it melts into your skin. I'll show you just how easy it is to blend this. So you need the tiniest little bit and it melts into your skin. It's so nice and it also feels really light. Like it doesn't feel sticky at all. You guys know I hate any kind of sticky makeup. Like if I feel like I'm wearing makeup, I want to get it off straight away. I'm going to pop on a little bit of liquid blush. This is the Nude Stick Sweet Peach Peony blush and it is gorgeous it's like a balm so i actually use this on my lips as well um, when i'm finished kind of like tie everything together but it's such a lovely peachy like natural pink kind of shade and like i said because it's a balm it just again melts into the skin just really quickly done my lip liner and then i'm going to pop some more of the cream blush on my lips and like i said this kind of just ties everything in together and it's such a nice lip shade as well. Just really nice and peachy. Then a duo that you guys all need in your life is one of these powder puffs and the Laura Mercier set, set there. <laughs> Translucent setting powder. I've been using this for years. Nothing quite compares to it. It's such a good powder. Again, doesn't feel cakey, just feels nice and natural. Um, and I feel like this just makes your skin look so flawless. So I'm just gonna dab some of this on with the powder puff. It sets it all in place, and like I said, just gives you that real nice airbrushed finish. So here is my finished makeup. I feel alive. <laughs> this usually takes me under 10 minutes, um, which is obviously just so quick and convenient. And you think it's down to the products that I use. They're just so easy to use. Like I said, they melt into the skin, um, and I can basically just throw them at my face. <laughs> and it's just super quick so yeah like i said i will link absolutely everything i use down below and don't forget about my discount code i also just wanted to share with you guys a couple of little gift sets that i picked up from look fantastic the other day first i got this little slip bauble which is so cute these hair bands are so good i've got a drawer full of them so nice like they're really gentle on your hair they're also really strong they're not like a silk hair band that just slips out um and silk is obviously really good for your hair so i got this for my mum's stocking then i got a little laneige gift set you guys know my obsession with the laneige lip masks they are amazing i'm using the peppermint one and i literally look forward to putting this on every night it's so nice keeps your lips so hydrated this time of year um, and this is a really cute little gift set. You've got a little face mask in there and also the Gummy Bear Laneige lip mask, which smells incredible. Then I wanted to show you guys this because this is a really, really good deal. So you know the Bobbi Brown face base that I used before my makeup? 
you can get a set of two and this works out so much cheaper um, and again another really great little gift set whether you want to buy it for yourself put it on your wish list you want to gift this for someone else really good value for money because like I said you get two and then last but not least I picked up the alien perfume for a Christmas gift um, look fantastic have loads of really lovely fragrances so like I said you can use my discount code save some money I will link absolutely everything down below and let's go get dressed and I think I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm feeling pretty hungry now. It's like half 10. My stomach just growled at me. So I'm thinking, let's go make some breakfast. Okay, I'm just about to make some, well, it would actually be like a brunch now, um, but I've got Radio 2 on as always, and they are playing the best selection of Christmas music this morning. It makes me so happy. And I have to share something with you guys because it just made me smile so it's monday today so it's one of noah's nursery days and this week is their like christmas menu week where each day they have like a different christmas dinner basically and i've got the menu and it's so cute so today for lunch noah is having wild salmon and spinach on croute the perfect mix of succulent salmon, rich cheese and spinach sauce with a golden pastry exterior. Served with, these are the sides, golden roast potatoes, West Country cheddar mash, Brussels sprouts and mixed veg. Then a dessert, mince meat bars, festive fruit crumble, chocolate yule log, fruit custard. Oh, this little guy eats better than me, honestly. <laughs> Imagine him sat at the little table eating his salmon on crew. It's just so cute. So cute. And I'm I'm jealous of that lunch. I want salmon on crew. Anyway, breakfast this morning is something a little bit more basic than salmon on crew. <laughs> um, but it's something that I've been having most days. I'm having scrambled eggs with some, it's kind of like a guac, but it's got tomatoes in it, like a guacamole and it's delicious. And I just need to say, these are not any old scrambled eggs, okay? These are Master Chef Gordon Ramsay approved <laughs> scrambled eggs. And I made them for the first time a couple weeks ago. And oh my goodness, they are amazing. I'm a bit weird with eggs. Um, I really have to be in the mood for them. I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with them. Sometimes they give me the ick. If I think about them too much when I'm eating them, I can't eat them anymore. Like, I just feel like eggs is one of those things that I really like, I feel like I want to like, but sometimes I just don't. But making them this way, they don't taste as eggy. They're just delicious. I'm gonna show you um, how Gordon makes them today because if you're a little bit weird with eggs like me, you'll really like these because they're just, they're not too eggy and they're not like, I'm sorry if any of you guys are eating eggs and this is just totally putting you off eggs. They're not the, te you know, like, oh, I don't know if I should talk about this before I'm about to eat them because like, I'm feeling myself get the ache. You know, with scrambled eggs, sometimes they're like, they're like chewy and a bit rubbery. These aren't like that. These are like creamy. They're just they are amazing. Anyway, let me show you how I make it. Um, I'm gonna show you how I make my like guac, my guac and tomato little side dish first, because that just goes really nicely with the scrambled eggs. Okay, first up, you need a nice big ripe avocado. Now I'm a little bit nervous to cut this because yesterday's avocado was brown and there's nothing quite as disappointing when you cut open one and it's rotten, basically. The real Oh, the perfect avocado if I ever did see one. And then my favorite way to get this out, you guys probably all know this. <laughs> I like cut it like along that way and then along this way and you just get like the perfect little chunks into your bowl. And then I like mash it all up with a fork. Okay, so avocado chunks in a bowl. Then I'm gonna take a whole lime. I love lime. And I'm just gonna squeeze all the juice over the avocado. Then I'm gonna mash it all up with a fork. Then to my mashed avocado, I'm gonna add some cherry tomatoes, which I've cut into four, so like half and then half again, quartered basically. I don't know why I made that so complicated. And then some coriander. I 
love coriander. I think it makes everything taste so fresh. So I'm just gonna pop the tomatoes in and the coriander. I like to give the tomatoes a little bit of a mash as well. So they're quite flat. That's all mixed up. I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of olive oil. Then I'm gonna add some salt, but I feel like flaky salt is an essential. Something about it I love, I love salt. It's actually one of my favorite things. I know that's like very, very unhealthy. Sometimes if I've got some flakes left on my finger, I just lick them. Probably very, very bad for me, but it's delicious. Then I add loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of pepper. Still going. <laughs> Still going, you can never have enough pepper. This will be the nicest guac you've ever tasted. And if you don't like tomatoes, just leave them out like this. I'm gonna try a little bit. Mmm, mm. it's so creamy, salty, fresh, so delish. So I'm gonna put that to the side and let's make our Gordon Ramsay MasterChef eggs. Okay, we shall call these eggs, eggs that don't give you the ick. So I'm gonna crack four eggs because Jamie will have some of this. And these are cold eggs, so they've been kept in the fridge. Gordon says that part is very important. And also there's no heat on this pan at the moment. So this part where you whisk them all, they need to still be cold. So cracking four eggs in, and then I'm just gonna whisk these up. Then whilst the pan is still cold, you need three knobs of butter. And you're gonna pop your heat on quite high and just leave it. And then when it starts to, you know, when it starts to thicken a little bit, Gordon says to take it off the heat every time you stir it. So it's gonna cook for three minutes in total, but every time you give it a good stir, you wanna take it off the heat for like 30 seconds. Apparently this like stops the cooking process and stops it overcooking um, and makes it really creamy. So I'm gonna leave that until it's ready for a little stir and then we'll take it off the heat. They're starting to thicken up a little bit. I'm gonna take them off the heat and just give them a good stir. And then you just wanna keep doing that until they're pretty much done. So like scrape the bottom of the pan as well so they don't all get stuck. So I feel like that's where it gets really overcooked. And then once your eggs are almost ready, they look like this, like they're a little bit stiff, but they're still quite soft. The thing that absolutely makes these scrambled eggs is a tablespoon of creme fraiche. This makes them so creamy and also kind of like takes away the very eggy taste. So you want a nice big tablespoon of this, pop it in there. What you want to do is pop it back on the heat, I'd say for another minute or so. Then you want to add your seasoning at the end. Lots of flaky salt in there and some pepper. And then something else that's really nice on these eggs, which I don't have, is some chopped fresh chives. for now are we are gonna make some little gingerbread cookies I bought these new little cutters from Amazon and they're so cute because you get the cutter and then there's a little stamp as well so you obviously cut your gingerbread and then stamp them and they just look so cute you get so many in a pack there's like three different packs of designs and the designs are just really sweet let me find the Really cute little Santa. Oh, I love him. Look at the Santa coming out the chimney. There's so many different ones. There's snowmen, snowflakes, there's a little Merry Christmas sign, there's bells, reindeer, holly. And I just thought these would be really fun to make. And also, um, I bought Noah, I ordered it over the weekend, a little toddler tower so he can stand up at the worktop with us because I feel like he's becoming really interested in like whatever we're doing on the worktop so 
I'm thinking this would be such a lovely little activity for us to do. I'm thinking maybe Christmas Eve Eve. Um, I love Christmas Eve Eve. That's literally like my favourite day. But I'm thinking we could make some gingerbread cookies and he can help me. and It'll be so cute. And then the gingerbread cookies that we make can be for Santa or Christmas Eve and we can leave them out on his plate. And then I was thinking that would be like a really nice little tradition for us to start doing each year. Um, making our own gingerbread cookies to give to Santa on Christmas Eve. So yeah, I thought that'd be really cute. And I'm dying to use these. I wanna see how they turn out. So I'm gonna make some gingerbread dough now, make some little cookies, because I haven't actually baked anything festive yet. Um, I feel like I'm behind this year, because usually I've done like a few festive bakes by December, but I feel like life has just been so busy. So it's nice today to just have a little bit of time to like potter around the house, make a nice breakfast um, and bake some cookies. So let's make some cute little gingerbread cookies. Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tales of yours it's so close, hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season most everywhere So come home, there's no better place Waking up on Christmas Day so wrapped around the tree Snowflakes dancing in the street Presents Look how cute the Christmas cookies have turned out. I love the little gingerbread house. I think that one is my favorite. But then I also love the Santa and the candy cane. Oh, they're so cute. I'm so happy I bought ones with stamps because I just think they don't even really need icing or anything. They just look so much cuter. You could even just like decorate maybe like the snow with icing or obviously the bits of the candy cane, Santa's beard. So cute. Got our tunes on. We are rocking around the Christmas tree today and we're about to go and get some food. <laughs> I've convinced Jamie to listen to Christmas music. And we are just rocking around. Merry Christmas time. We are having a happy holiday. This is a good one. This is the same one, isn't it? It's not the I same one. I know this one. is Home Alone, though. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Don't you don't know this one. It's the most wonderful time of the year. This is my favourite Christmas song in the whole world ever. Really this like. one. Simply yeah, having a, a wonderful, wonderful Christmas time. time. Jamie's decided this one is his favourite. I think this one is a lot of people's favourite. This is, a, yeah, do you know what I do? I, yeah, this is my favourite song. This is just a jolly, like, fun, a classic Crimbo song. The one that goes, yeah, boop, yeah, boop. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I'm glad you beat those. Boop. I'm glad you beat those. Right down. Most gorgeous. Well, actually, it's only 20 past three, but it's starting to get dark already. Isn't it the nicest evening ever? It's like misty, sunny and misty. It is, it is yeah. absolutely beautiful. Let me show you. a minute ago, like, it's a nice little look for you. Well, this isn't the best bit, do you know Like, look how gorgeous it is. Look at the sky. It just feels so wintry and Christmassy. have arrived at Sandringham. It looks so cute. I'll be able to show you guys in a moment. Um, Noah's wrapped up, nice and warm it's in his so pram. It's so cold tonight. It's so cold. 
um, but it feels magical. I love it's it here so much. Well. Yes, he doesn't want to put his gloves on. We though. did try the mittens. We, it was a firm no from Noah. Um, they got ripped off. We had a lovely meal at Jack's tonight. We tried their festive menu. I had these camembert bites, and they were huge, and they were absolutely deli delicious with this like onion and cranberry chutney. What did you have? Pate. 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 Um, oh, uh, what do you call that bread? Toast. Kubata? I don't think it was Kibata. referred to as toast. And then for main, we had <laughs> turkey <laughs> roast dinner. It was absolutely delicious. Guys, look how amazing this looks already. <gasps> so magical. We're just walking up to the main entrance, which is over here, which is like a little fair. But I don't remember this being there last year. What is that? A tree maze. That looks amazing. It's a tree maze. No, absolutely love that. Can you see it? Let me see. Noah, can you see the tree? Let me pull your hat up a little bit, darling. Look. <gasps> What's that? She's waving. Hello, everybody. It's me, <laughs> Noah. I'm here. <laughs> I've arrived. We haven't even really began the walk yet and it's already so magical. They've got a Christmas tree maze, which I can't wait to go in. And they had more stalls this year, didn't they? I feel like last year there was only really like a pizza van and stuff. Um, but they had more like food stalls this year. As you walk around the forest, oh my God, the smoke, look. <gasps> There's like different <laughs> themes um, to each part. It's just so cool. Oh my God, the smoke. <laughs> This is so different to last year. I feel like it's just bigger and better. Um, but yeah, like I said, there was like a hot chocolate stall, a pizza stall, <coughs> excuse me, just choking on the fog. It was like a, you guys would have seen it, but there was a, what's it called? Like a tent that sold like mulled wine and um, mulled cider. It's really bar. lovely. Yeah, a bar basically. That's what I was trying <laughs> to think of. A tent, a bar. Look at the lights the trees now. Wow, guys. It feels so Christmassy. Do you love it? Do you love all the lights? Do you remember last year, boy? Wow, I think Noah slept through the entire walk last year. The pram is just constantly rocking because every time there's a bit of music, Noah's just dancing. You dancing? Wow, Noah. Wow. This is magical. It's so magical. Oh, I love it. <laughs> We're headbanging to this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, Noah. Are you headbanging? Is this a good song? Aww. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Every time we go anywhere near a swing. Wow, we. We're in the Christmas lights. I think this bit is by far my favourite. It's like a deer forest and there's loads of deers and a projector of deers. Oh, it's so cute. I'm not gonna lie, these are a little bit creepy. <laughs> it's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> Home 
from the loveliest evening ever. It's been so nice. The light show was the cutest thing. Noah absolutely loved it. And it's just been a really lovely festive evening. Got home about an hour ago now. Um, Noah is tucked up in bed. I've just had a shower, done my skincare, popped on some lovely, fresh, cosy pyjamas. These are our new Girl of Muse pyjamas, which are actually launching on Friday evening. Um, so by the time you guys see this, these would have launched. They come in three different colours. We've got the gorgeous chalk brown. We've got a really lovely creamy colour, which has chalk brown piping and the black pair which i was wearing this morning i've got all three pairs and i live in them they are so so soft um i'll pop a link down below but yeah we are now just about to watch a little bit of our series um and then we're gonna go to bed we have been watching the new squid game um like game show it's so good when we first started watching it i was like mm, I don't know if I like this, but I was hooked after the first episode. It's so good. We've got two episodes left um, and I just love it. I'm absolutely obsessed. I look forward to watching it all day. So we're probably going to watch one episode tonight um, and then we're going to get a nice early night. So I just wanted to remind you guys that my huge Christmas giveaway is ending this sunday so when you guys see this video on saturday you have one more day to enter um so i'll leave a link to my giveaway down below but yeah this is your last chance to enter thank you guys so much for all your entries so far feels just so amazing to be able to put together this giveaway for you guys thank you all so much for spending a lovely cozy december day with me and i hope you'll have a lovely week ahead and i'll catch up with you all next weekend Night night.